Hey Libra, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable, therefore it can go vice versa, and this reading is not going to resonate with everyone. So take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest. If this reading does resonate with you, I'm offering an extended reading. I'll put a link in the description box down below, and you're more than welcome to join me there, okay? So Libra, let's get into it. Um... So your Moonology cards, we got confidence is your key to success with a fiery climax approaching here. Okay, so definitely a situation is coming to a head. Okay, um, but I, I do like, even though confidence is here, right, it says it, I, I sensed that, right, when I was uh, meditating and pre-shuffling, there's like a motivation, a sense of courage, a sense of like a gung-ho type of energy here. Okay, you also got present power with great achievement and kindred partnership. So again, and then there's lions here too. You might be dealing with a Leo, okay? But there is a sense of uh, accomplishment in knowing your power and knowing what you're going to do or what you're going to achieve here. Uh, could be you or your person. Um, they're very gung-ho about what they know, what they want to do. They're going for it. I uh, just heard, give me the gusto. Uh, so it's going to happen, okay? Let's go. Let's see what the overall energy is. Ah, Queen of Swords. This is complete mental clarity, right? This is uh, knowing that... Uh, your whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling in the moment is exactly how it should be, no matter what is the feeling I'm getting from this Queen of Swords. That whatever your thoughts become uh, turn into your reality. And, oh, so I just heard, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck, basically. So you're not wanting to give in to any facades, uh, but only look at truly what is right in front of you and what is happening, okay? There's a big, like, clearing the air, finding the reality of the situation here. So let's see what's happening here, Libra. What is happening from your side? Let's see. Ah, guess who pops out? The King of Swords. So, Libra, this is your energy, so... From your side, you might be, you don't have to be a man. You can be the female, but you are in the masculine energy of the King of Swords. Because this is your energy. This is the overall, okay? Possibly what you're dealing with in the situation. So as the King of Swords magician moon, you are cutting through. That's what I was feeling. You are cutting through anything that's any nonsense, uh, making sure that everything is fact not fiction okay everything before you is exactly how it is and if it if somebody is acting manipulative or somebody is uh, emphasizing things or um really overreacting anything like that you're like nope there's no need for it this is how it is like it's speaking your truth and and being a realist right now you really are being a realist. Uh, tell me about this magician card. Eight of Swords. You really are uncovering truths here, Libra. Uh, this week you really are trying to uncover things that possibly may have been hidden here for a very long time with the Moon Magician card. Okay, but with the Magician Eight of Swords, this is getting yourself out of a situation that possibly you've always had a way out of, you've always seen the truth behind, uh, even though the person has possibly put a facade in front of you, um, you are able to now see through this. You are able to gain the courage and be like, no, I, listen, if that's how, if that's how you're acting or if that's what you said, that's what you meant. You know, you're not looking at things, uh, without clear vision anymore. Okay, let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you. Let's see their, what are they doing? Oh, sorry. I put the thing upside down. Okay, I was told no. 
Hold on one second. Oh my gosh, your cards are like all over the place. <laughs> okay, hold on one second. Let me get what they're doing out here. Let's see their position. My goodness, these cards. Do I take this or no? I do? Okay. All right. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Page of Cups. What they're doing right now is they are trying to show you, okay, that they, even though they feel like they may have been, uh, I don't want to say caught. No, that's not what I want to say. Even though they see that you're starting to see the truth of things, um, they're kind of believing their own lies, okay? So they're trying to still portray themselves as, no, this is my truth. Um, this is exactly how it was. And they're like meeting you uh, right in the middle. And, you know, possibly why we have the king and queen here. This is a conversation, okay? And this is what's happening, uh, what they're doing right now. We have uh, six of wands. How about the Six of Wands, Page of Cups? They're trying to act like, okay, so let's just get it straight. They are very sad, right? They There's possibly no, there was a fight here or lack of communication. There's, you've not been speaking to this person. They are devastated. <clears throat> the truth is being revealed under their ego here, okay? They really wanted to win something with you or um, achieve something in a conversation or in this relationship even. And they really are devastated that they didn't achieve this. But the facade that they're putting up, there's a little bit of deception here, is that they may be on social media here, which I see Page of Cups, Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. They might be on social media going, you know, Oh, yeah, look at me taking a picture, writing a post, whatever it is, um, showing that they're not, they don't care. Even if they don't have you, it's okay, you know, but uh, they are devastated. What they're trying to do is get you to see that they, they're fine without you, that they're completely confident in the situation. They're fine being by themselves. They're, you know, they don't need anyone in their life to make them happy, but they, that's not the truth. And it seems like from your side, you're uncovering that anyways. Tell with the Nine of Pentacles. So if you've, re if you've seen them lately, yeah, Nine of Pentacles Tower. They, this is what's happening in underneath uh, their hidden intention. So you may be, maybe you see on social media this week, you know, your person, you may be gotten into an argument with them or you haven't seen them or they left you. Anything is in regards to this. Uh, whatever it is, you may see them posting pictures happy or even with another person and it's all fake. It's not um, really what's happening. Okay. So they're doing this to get under your skin, to really make it so that you can see um, the truth of how much they are happy, right? It's a strategy here. It's to get you um, with the seven of swords, page of cups, it's to get you emotionally triggered. Okay. To respond to them. They want a response from you and that's how they want to work this out. We do have a fiery climax approaches here, which keeps staring me down. So I think this is headed towards a direction that we're going to find out. They may, uh, get frustrated with you because I don't see you quite budging here. I kind of see you being, having enough confidence and care about yourself enough and love yourself enough to be like, no, that's fine. Then fine. If you're happy without me, that's okay. You know, I'm happy. I'm fully content myself. And it didn't get the, res they didn't get the results that they wanted from this. And so I foresee, we're going to find out, but I foresee them contacting you or getting upset. They didn't get the result that they wanted here. Okay. So let's see the challenge here. What is the challenge? Mm. Somebody loves someone way too much and is very stubborn that things aren't going their way. Uh, the challenge here is somebody's in their own ego. And what they've done is instead of um, 
being mature about it and you know talking about it or making things right whatever has happened here uh they retreated and they've um kind of gave you the cold shoulder okay so they just really uh, i don't want to say ghosted because for some of you i'm feeling it's not completely that it's more of they're just not talking to you they just they're there like if you need them you can call them but it's more of and it's and vice versa but they just are trying to give you the cold shoulder but the reason I say it's not ghosting is because they're trying to make it more known on social media. They're, or if it's not social media, it's however you guys interact with each other. Maybe you work together. Maybe you see each other. This person's just not talking to you. You know, if you walk by and say hi, they just ignore you. It's just that type of energy here. That's the challenge. Somebody thinks that they're right and they... The problem is they... The challenge is they love you so much, though. That's... That's a challenge and they want to, they want you to conform to how they're viewing things here. Okay. So let's see how they feel about you, even though I touched upon it a little bit. Nine of Cups. Ooh. Nine of Cups, Nine of Swords, Star. So, um, it's kind of the sense, yes, this is be careful what you wish for. But not in this feeling mode. So with the star card, it's kind of they are uh, very afraid. They see you as somebody that they are so happy with. You make them feel, uh, I just heard, giddy inside. So you fulfilled them, right? They see you as this beautiful person. There's not really anything wrong with you. You're, they can't quite get anyone like you they see you as you and you only like you're so unique you're like the only one you know that uh there's only one like you you know type of deal uh nine of swords a star is they're afraid that uh they may not get you back or they may not achieve this with you it seems like maybe they kind of pushed you over the edge a little too much to where there's no going back from this. So let me see the Nine of Swords. Woo, that came out fast. Death, yeah. They're afraid it's over. Tell me what the death card. Yeah, Three of Cups. It's like, oh, my happiness will be gone is, uh, is what I'm feeling here. Seven of Wands. They want to protect what's theirs. It's like... You made them feel so good about themselves. You, and it's like they didn't tell you though. I don't think they told you very much. They kind of just did what they did. And um, uh, possibly at times I see could be arguments, okay? Uh, the way that they spoke to you was not great at times. Um, but they're kind of scared that now it's over and you've kind of put up with their shenanigans too long or put up with the way they've been uh treating you for too long that um you're kind of just done you're fed up okay so let's see what action they're gonna take here this week ah uh. <laughs> so remember when i said um that i foresee them coming to you so yes now we are getting that. So, yeah, they're going to play a little game this week, okay? they possibly been playing this for a little while, um, depending on what has happened. If there was an argument or uh, somebody's just not talking to the other person, um, they are going to send you messages, okay? This is could be from a f far away. You guys could live uh, at a distance from each other. I am seeing here, too. Uh, it doesn't have to be, but this is just, if it's, if you don't live at a distance from this person, what it's saying with the three of wands here with the knight of cups is that this person doesn't want to see you in person. What they're doing is projecting, giving messages, sending messages out or a phone call to let you know that, Hey, I love you. I can't stop thinking about you and this whole situation and back and forth, what happened. And you know, this is like, Almost like an apology, uh, in a sense. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. 
Six of Cups, yeah. That uh, it's just feel good uh, talk. You know, they're just going to tell you, I miss you. I, uh, this is, I miss you. Uh, I, I don't like being without you every day. I don't uh, want it to be like this is that as well. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles, yeah, Page of Pentacles, giving you a little something, okay? It's like there's a little too fearful to be in person or to get a rejection from you uh, right off the bat. That's if you don't live at a distance from this person. Otherwise, that's the case, okay? Tell with the Queen of Cups, Page of Wands. I'm telling you, it's messages over social media or text messaging, Knight of Wands, yeah. They want to be with you again. They want to talk to you and um, and let you know that they're they're sorry. You know uh, whatever has happened here. But if this reading is resonating with you, Libra, you're more than welcome to join me uh, in the extended reading. If you want to know uh, what future action this person is going to take, and you want to know uh, exactly what they're going to say and what messages they have for you, as well as hidden energies, what you don't know that you need to know if you've always wondered, um, get you an outcome to the situation. And we're going to go over some romance angel cards. Uh, but if you want to know this, uh, you're more than welcome to join me. I'll put it in the description box and the link down below. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Even if this is your last stop, I will see you next week. Bye.